Receptor tyrosine kinases. The structures here are called receptor tyrosine kinases and are inactive monomers without the ligands binded. The site consists of an alpha helix membrane protruding outside the cell, accompanied with tails with tyrosines attached. The binding of a signal molecule, such as a growth factor, causes the receptors to bind together. This binding creates a dimer and activates the tyrosine kinase region of each polypeptide. 6 ATP now turn into 6 ADP because phosphates are now attached to each tyrosine. This is now the fully activated receptor tyrosine kinase, phosphorylated dimer. The receptor is recognized by specific relay proteins inside the cell. Each protein bonds to a specific phosphorylated tyrosine. Unactivated relay proteins attach to the tyrosines, making them activated relay proteins. Each individual activated relay protein can trigger different transduction pathways leading to a cellular response. In this case, this cellular response is the opening of the ligand-gated ion channel. This creates a cytosolic fluctuation of ions, Ca, in the cytoplasm from the ER.